is Wednesday. Whew, child, I've had a busy week. I was busy yesterday, but I do Monday. I was busy Monday, Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. I, my sister, boyfriend, she's been with about 10 years, is having surgery today. So I'm going to go to the hospital to sit, you know, with her and everything until he comes out. Um, so yeah busy week and then tomorrow I really need to go to the mall because I need to take that I ordered a, some foundations and you know skin tints and stuff like that from Sephora where girl why one of those skin tints is the Kosas or Kosas sauce or how you pronounce it why one of them expire July 23rd you know like this year July I just got it in May I'm no absolutely not May, June, July. No, it's already you, you send it out basically expired. So I gotta take that back, get a new one. A couple of them I ordered. Um, I ordered two. The shade's too dark. I don't know why. Cause I looked at the description, but you know sometimes it could be off. A couple that I ordered. Look at that description. I was spot on. A couple today. I am wearing. Beauty blender, and I guessed it that, but and it's not. I don't know. I didn't even read read the thing, girl. Some stuff I was just peeking up. I didn't even read like if it was mattifying, illuminating, whatever. Because I just really wanted to try something different, you know, as far as foundation stuff. I have not purchased makeup in forever. Like palettes, I refuse to buy another palette. To be honest, um. My eyes are working a little bit. I think I found the perfect mascara that does not run and leave blackness under my eyes. I'll share it with you. Um, what else? But yeah, I wanted to try some new makeup. Just new makeup. Um, so I said I wasn't going to order anything. Girl, you know, I told you that I was not going to order anything from the VIB sale. Remember? Well, that didn't last long. Uh, the, at the ninth hour, I was ordering my tail off. Like the last, I'm telling you, the last hour, I was really ordering a lot of stuff. And I, I had gone, if you remember, I went to Sephora earlier that day. But the Sephora that I went to is just like a little satellite Sephora inside of a Kohl's. So they don't have like everything, you know what I'm saying? So, girl, I was so wanting to try so many things, but like I said, they didn't have anything in stock. So, I wrote down some of the stuff that I wanted to try. I took pictures or whatever. Some of the stuff I wanted to try. I came home, ordered it online. And I just, I went crazy. Ordering stuff. Patrick's, Patrick Star. Is that his name? Patrick? No, not Patrick Star. I'm thinking about Jeffrey Star. Patrick. Is it Patrick Star? Anyway, I ordered right many of his products that I have been pleased with. I got, I mean, I have so much to share with you. It's just that I've been busy. Life been really lifing for your girl. You know, that happens sometimes. Life has been lifing. And my account, and you know, I have like lots of videos recorded, but I just ain't been in the mood to um, edit. You know, like, I don't know, it's just really taken a lot. And life has been lifing. You know, sometimes we go through situations, you know, nobody's perfect, everybody have issues. And sometimes, girl, the good old thing we call life, Girl, they just turned out trees everywhere. Oh my goodness. And I I should be happy my husband's a builder, a general contractor. But I swear I just hate to see everything growing up and coming up. And we're probably we got three subdivisions that we're kind of filling out a little bit. Like they are like landowners loan, you know, like on the property. And so we're thinking about partnering. I mean, we got a lot of good stuff in the pipeline. And I don't know, I get excited about new opportunities because it's something new, but even though me and my husband cannot really work together, even though I quit my job supposedly to come to work with him, but we realize we just can't really, and, and, and it's because we are so different, but we're trying, we're trying to get there. And I think with these new set of projects, I, I, I will probably be more hands-on. 
Because, you know, we, we have different strengths and challenges. I don't say weaknesses. I say strengths and challenges, you know. And um, so sometimes, you know, I don't know. We get in each other way. And so it's going to shut all the way down. I just gets out of the way and let him do him. And sometimes, you know, as a woman, we have to do that. I realize that the older I got, like, sometimes you just got to get somewhere and be quiet and let the man do whatever he's going to do. Now, he has to be able to suffer, you know, to handle the consequences behind his decisions because he made those decisions. But as women, we really do need to learn to just move out of the way. Sometimes, you know, people learn by making mistakes. Sometimes it's over and over and over and over again. Um... And sometimes we just gotta get out of the way and be quiet. Just let them do what they gonna do. Okay, fine, go ahead on, do it. But bro, handle the consequences. And my husband is really, really good at handling the consequences behind him wanting to do what he wanna do. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I just, I just stop. I just stop. Because as women, we have an intuition. Like, if you're really in tune to your spouse or your mate or whatever, like a lot of times. I can sit back and I can hear the problem before it even comes. Like, I know it's going to be a problem. I can tell you it's going to be a problem. But at the same time, my skill set is managing, training, you know, um, people. So, you know what I'm saying? My, it's a total, whole, total different skill set. So, I'm really good at listening. I'm really good at, you know, that's what I do. Um, coach, coaching, you know, stuff like that. So I'm really in tune to my listening and being able to call a spade a spade, basically. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But my husband's really good at he's a go-getter. He is not afraid. Like, I I personally sometimes, it probably does take me time to um, jump off the ledge. You know what I'm saying? Because I got to have the facts. I need the numbers. I need the, you know, it's like I, everything almost has to be perfect to line up. So sometimes that's studying too long as they used to call it and sometimes he'll just move you know and most of the time I mean it's the right thing like he's great at at the, the development phase I'm great coming in you know what I'm saying after after the you know like right after the decision has been made but because we tend to clash at times I'm just kind of backed off you know through the years and just kind of let him do what he gonna do because my husband he gonna do what he wanna do shit. Your husband probably gonna do what he wanna do. Anyway, it has it. And his thing is like as long as it don't affect your lifestyle, you should be fine. Okay. I mean, to an extent, but then sometimes like it gets old. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, girl. So yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I need to go to Crabtree. I really need to go take some of that stuff back. But this is Mother's Day weekend, the week period. And I just don't, I don't think I'm going to mess with that traffic because I know everywhere is packed. I do need to go get some cars. I be wanting to make my own cars. And I can make them, but girl, just get in my mind to sell it down sometimes to get stuff done. It's just like, girl, you ain't going to do it. Just go buy stuff. But I do want to get to that point. And a lot of times I think, I don't know, like right now, you ever had those phases like right now, see my, like, my life is just all over the place sometimes. Not that I have so much to do because I don't know it's hard to explain it's like my mind you know what I'm saying my mind is just can be in so many different places I want to get so much done that I end up not really getting most things done I mean let's just be real and a lot of that is just because my my mind be all over the place and uh I need to work on that you know what I'm saying like I can analyze myself and you know say self you need to do this you need to do that I've always done that always done that and yeah so I don't have to talk with myself and I really want to do like get back into um what you call it oh my god I can't jump journaling it's so but you gotta have a settled mind like my mind needs to be settled relaxed and stuff in order to get that done and I think I've been all over the place because really I be enjoying my grandkids to be honest grabby I have grandkids all the time. Somebody is there all the time. I'm supposed to pick two up today after I leave this high school child. And I, like, sometimes I feel like 
I am needy in so many areas and so many places that I'm really all over the place, which is fine, you know what I'm saying? Because I know, like, last week I didn't have no kids. I was like, I ain't have no kids this week. So I do choose, like, weeks where I'm just not having no kids. But I don't know. I got a Stitch Fix box that I, it was okay. Um, uh, I had a few fit issues. I need to share that with you. I mean, I got a lot going on. It's just one of those days. I was contemplating on getting me a part-time job, even though Chris is like freaking out. But I don't know. I really thought about it. My girlfriend, she was talking about some little job chat. And if I get a part-time job, you know, or get a job or whatever, it really is because I'm used to structure. And I think a part of the problem is that I don't have any right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna be real, girl. I don't have any, and like, I, I, and then too, you know, sometimes I miss socializing with people. Even though I socialize with my family, and I socialize socialize with my family all the time, but like my, you know, like people, you know, what I'm saying <laughs> like, um, I don't know because a lot of people my age, a lot of my friends, you know, they still work and stuff like that. So I. Sometimes I be bored, sometimes I be lonely, sometimes I be lazy, you know, and I don't know, like, I, but then again, I be like, I remember sitting at work some days and just, rem just, just, just daydreaming about the time that, you know, I don't have to go to work or the time that I could just enjoy my house or sit out and do nothing. I, I, I really... So really, you know, I'm trying to be like, girl, get your shit together because you prayed for these days. You really wanted these days. You you would sit at work and daydream about these days. And I'm not complaining. I just feel like, I don't know. Do you ever feel like sometimes that my career right now is my house? You know what I'm saying? Like my home and my family. And I was just so used to having a career, you know, that even though it's been I've been you know a few years quit my job and been at home um not knowing that you know my son was gonna die um in 2020 you know my husband got sick I mean a lot has happened you know he's since had surgery um we since found out that he has like six blood clots in different areas of his body um I mean you know it's just been I mean, you know, and, and of course we've been known about that for because about three years because he had a stroke like what? Eight, eight, he had a stroke two months after my son died. And so that, I think that really sent me to the point where I could not properly grieve. I just had, I couldn't focus on myself. You know what I'm saying? I had to now focus on, you know, my husband and what he need and, you know, scared, you know, like, okay, what if something happens to him? And you know, he's always like, if something happened to me, you straight, you financially, but that's not what I'm talking about, like, mentally. You know what I'm saying? Like, mentally. What ha what would happen, you know, at the time when he had a stroke and stuff like that. So last year, he had surgery to have um, three stents put, fix an aor in his belly. So he has one to a clock, you know, like a small clock going to his heart. And they wait till they get a certain size before they do the surgery. So the one in his belly, they had to go ahead on and, and address that one because it had gotten bigger. He has two in his groin areas, two in his calves, one has broken off. But, you know, it's just a lot to process. And after losing a son, I'm just like, oh my God, I cannot lose my husband. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, your mind goes so many different directions in so many different ways. And sometimes I still find myself like a little... I know we all got to leave here. I know that. But... My son passing just... It did a number on me. It did a number on me. And I, I feel like, you know, that's still some of my problem today. You know, of why I feel how I feel... I am blessed. I know I'm blessed. I feel blessed. But I am so, like, not my, I'm not my, my old self. You know what I'm saying? And, and I have read, you know, and in therapy and stuff, it's like, you will never be the same. You know, you just have to accept life um, 
as it is now. So trying to really like put my self back together and keep myself together is just being it's just been challenging for me and always you know being a person that's always in control of my emotions myself my thing you know just in control of things oh oh what in the world I didn't even see you chat um that it's just being different I think my life is so unbalanced and everything because I haven't found it's only been three years and I have not this year April May three years and I really haven't found that balance yet you know what I'm saying like I haven't found it yet I have tried I just have not been able to I feel like get a footing on things you know like get my life back balanced um I, I went through a period, and I think I shared this with you. I don't know if I posted it any younger. Because sometimes I'm going to post this one day. I'm not. I probably won't do no edits in it. But I don't know. I, I, I just cannot seem to, you know, find that even balance. Like, even when I'm chilling or whatever, my mind is always like, I got to be doing something. I got to get. You know, I can't, I can't seem to pull it together. And. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit, you know, like I have moments where I'm happy, everything is good. Then I have moments where it's like I just cannot seem like I, I'm missing something in life. I'm, 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 not, I'm not well balanced. I have suffered spiritually. Um, I, you know, I still trust God, I still believe in God, but I have suffered so bad spiritually. It's like... And I remember my grandma telling me, you know, it's time, it might come times you know, in your life that you can't pray. You don't have no words to say. Sometimes I just repeat the Lord's prayer. Sometimes I just, I just say thank you, Jesus. So I, 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 I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it's such a, and I'm not angry with God. I just, I don't know. Like I, I, it's like I was knocked off of my pedestal, you know, and not, not talking about like I was so high up, but. I was not off of life and I just can't seem to, you know, put the pieces back together that make sense to me. You know what I'm saying? Where <laughs> life changed, life changed. And I, I declare the more I try to pull it together and it's not that I, I just, I'm just not myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to be myself again. I just want to feel whole and complete. And the truth, reality is I never probably will be because I'm missing, a, you know, a son that I birthed into this world. And that son, that son, I love all my children. I do. I love all my kids dearly. But this son, I guess, because of his disabilities, you know, my life revolved around him, you know, like, it did, and I think that's really the problem, is that my life revolves so much around him that I don't know how to have a life not full of something all the time, you know, where, like, I just had to be there, be here, be there, you know, available. I, and since he being gone, I just don't know what to do with myself. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't. And I remember feeling this way a little bit when my grandma died because my grandma was such an instrumental part of my life. And I, at the end of her life, you know, like for the last couple of years, I had been like taking her to doctor's appointments and doing so much for her and just, you know, staying with her going by there, checking just everything, giving her a bath, you know, and helping her, like, just doing so much. And when she died, it was like, what am I going to do with myself? I, you know, like, <sighs> I guess it's just finding the life that I never had. You know what I'm saying? That's where I found myself with my son is that because he was diagnosed early and because it's just always been on balance. It's always been one thing behind another, behind another, behind another 
that I just I just didn't know a life basically without all the extras and uh, you know I guess it's just what it is anyway girl what you doing for Mother's Day you got the big plans I tell you it is so crowded and it be so many people out and stuff. I really don't be wanting to even go out to eat and stuff. I, I, I just like, I don't know. Like, it don't really, it's not that serious. I think the guys are going to get together Saturday night and do something. But, uh, which is kind of fine with me, you know. I don't know. But anyway, girl, let me get on down this road. And... I'm probably going to post this today. I probably won't add anything. I was going to make it like a part of the weekly vlog, but girl, I'm not. I'm just going to, it's, it's, it turned out to be long, but sometimes I just got to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I just need to have the conversation with you. And it just, yeah, it can't be a weekly, a part of a weekly vlog. It's too long. Anyway, I will holler back at you in the next video, girl.